community gardens and I don't have my gimbal with me so this is gonna be bouncy bouncy rhubarb So we're by the Gorge, Gorge Park. And why? I think that's John. And yellow calla lilies, I think. So we had this incredible heat spell here in Victoria. Um, temperatures around 40 and or higher. And uh, today is one of the first breezy, nice, handleable days after. So it's beautiful, beautiful. Well, here I am. Um, it's been a hot minute. Uh, I'm in a different area of filming because my usual area is occupied by people. So I just thought I'd talk to you uh, from this bench, which is shaded, thank goodness, because it is hot out. Not as hot as it was a few days ago where we had um, 40 Celsius, almost 40 Celsius, but hot enough. Hot enough for this redhead. I want to talk today about um, the Bible. Believe it or not. <laughs> I've had conversations with people before about the Bible. Um, if a person takes a Bible literally, if a person takes the Bible as um, the word, of God, whole and inerrant, and people who cherry pick, which some people have said is wrong, yet in the Bible itself, it talks about how everything is not good to eat, that one must separate the chaff from the grain because not all is fit to eat. So, there are people out there, and I know you've seen them, and they say, uh, well, the Bible's the Word of God, and I go by the Word of God. Or they just say, the Word of God says what it says, so I go by that. My opinion is, number one, I believe it contains the Word of God, but it was written quite a long time ago, it's been translated, it's been mistranslated, um, human beings being what they are, scribes being what they are, were in the old days. Many scribes didn't even know how to read. They just knew how to copy well and how to write well. So I, I go by this concept that there's truth, but I can't say everything in it is 100% correct. How do I know the difference? I believe that I go by uh, God speaking to me from within. How do you know that's not the devil, Ravy? Well, because you test things. Does the devil tell me to be kind and loving to people? Does it tell me to be accepting of people? Does it tell me to um, treat people the way I want to? I don't think so. So that is how I do it. And 
I go by that inner sense to go throughout the Bible and find what is the grain, what is good to eat, and I use that, and I believe I'm a Christian. There are those out there who will believe that you have to, oh, my eyes watering. Oh, I think I might be developing an allergy. There are people out there that um, believe that the, uh, the Bible is uh, totally inerrant. It hasn't changed for hundreds of years, which is incorrect. It actually has. Many of the words have been changed. And to go by it without any kind of questioning is, um, in my opinion, is folly. Consider this. Before the Bible was written, how did people understand God? Did they never understand God? Did they all go to hell because they died before the Bible was written? No, I don't believe they did. Um, to me, God must have put the wisdom the God sensed within us before a book was written. So I believe that if you meditate, um, if you think on what is love, what is ego, what is good. Um, I think that is God coming through you. I think the Bible is an, a companion piece to the God within you. And how do I know it's not the devil? Again, I test my thoughts. Is it for me in a greedy way? Is it hurtful against another? Is it egotistical? Is it any of those things? And thus I get my answers. I wrote something down. There is. These are my thoughts. Okay. Where is it? Okay. Um, Bible appreciator. Those are people like me who appreciate the Bible for the wisdom it contains, who, uh, who love many of the passages, who, who take comfort and learning from the Bible. They're the Bible idolaters, which, yes, I, the Bible idolaters who are people who actually worship the book itself as an idol. And I think there's a problem with that. Your faith should be strong enough that you can uh, question and um, be fine with your answers or uh, be patient and you'll get your answers. Um, if you can't question something, if you have to be in fear of it, um, see it as one entity, I mean an object. There's a bit of idolatry in that, and I really don't think God meant for us to idolize the Bible. And neither do I think Jesus, who I don't just take from the Bible, but I take from many other things I've read that have some sort of connection to Jesus or the concept of Christ. So I believe that Jesus the Christ did not want himself as in his person to be worshipped but the God within and his words and he wished for people to do what um, God wanted us to do but not so much worship him as a being. Um, because God is uh, bigger than Jesus, if that makes sense. The third is um, Bible as a companion piece to uh, 
meditation spirituality um, all spiritual um, books the Bible is a companion piece and that's how I take it also I don't think the Bible is wrong I think there are parts of it that are good and right and true and God breathes and I think there are also prejudices and misunderstandings and mistranslations upon it so and um, the last is Bible as a weapon I think there are far too many people out there who use it as a um, you follow it and believe it the way I do or else uh, you're not in our club uh, you're going to someplace horrible um, we're cutting you away from us because you don't agree with us it's not an inclusive kind of thing when you use it as a weapon it's a it's a hate-filled uh, division divisionary thing when you use it like that so what am I saying I guess I'm saying there are other ways to take the Bible and I still believe you can be uh, a Christian um, a good spiritual being without following the Bible as if you can't question it if it's an errant um, all of those things uh, no one has ownership of God and uh, just thought I'd like to take that because I have a lot of conversations with people and you know God bless us we all talk and have our own opinions but I don't I don't care if people do believe what they believe it's when they try to force it on others that I wish people would just be kind and just um, let us all sort of struggle to that light um, in our own way so okay guys this is a short one and I will See you soon. Okay, guys. Happy July. <laughs>